and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because we are connecting to the sign of Taurus for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus wherever you have that Taurus placement in your chart. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you wanna see next. Let's get right into it, Taurus. For my Taurian kings and queens, what do you guys have going on? Again, this is for your sun, moon, Venus, and rising, wherever you have that Taurus placement in your chart. What do you guys have going on during this time? Let's see. Okay, so we have rediscover your zeal, convey your meaning, and enjoy the journey. Interesting. I've never got rediscover your zeal, so let's get into that one first. Okay, so this one says, pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. So there's definitely time to pay attention to what you've been kind of wanting to do or what you've been feeling called to do. They listed about everything you can imagine on here. Um, for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, your relationship, it's definitely time not to ignore how you're truly feeling, uh, Taurus, and what you're feeling guided to, you know, basically explore more. Pay attention to your zeal, what makes you happy, what's exciting you, what you want to do. Pay attention to you and your desires at this time. All right, and then we have convey your meaning. That sounds like a very, you know, th that makes total sense for the next step. Reflect on the way, um, reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart with respect and sincerity. So there's definitely a need to be clear, Taurus. I feel like you guys may be focused on so many of these things. <laughs> you may be focused on, you know, relationships. You may be focusing on what you want to do for work in the future. You may be focusing on what, you know, you want for your future life purpose. You may be focusing on a whole lot of things right now, Taurus, and it's important to mean what you say, say what you mean with a respectful and sincere manner. So make sure you're being clear with people, um, you know, in terms of what your intentions are for the future, what you're wanting. Also, it's also very important not to scrutinize the people around you for not doing things that are in, in alignment with what you're wanting. So for example, if you want to travel in the future, but you're not making any plans to travel, you're not making any plans to actually do anything, but you really want to, don't project how you feel inside on others. Basically meaning if you have like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, a partner who you're with and you want to travel, but they're not doing anything, you know, going towards that, don't bombard them like, I want to travel in my future, you don't want that, etc. Because do you really want it? If you're not going towards it, if you're not making any actual plans towards it, you can't really criticize someone else for not doing that either. You know, you guys are in the same boat. You both want something, but you're both not doing anything for it. So there's definitely a need to make sure you're being respectful and sincere. Sincere, you can only be, be sincere if you have an understanding of the truth of the situation. So there's definitely a need for reflection too. But also, you know, if you are growing and transforming, etc., and you're wanting to travel or you're not satisfied with your work situation, whatever, there's definitely a need to communicate that with the people around you. You want to consistently kind of update people on where your life is going and where you're going so you can grow together. And then we have enjoy the journey. Stay present and flexible. Many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. Yeah. So there's definitely a need to be present in the moment. Honestly, Taurus, I think it's about time for a check-in with yourself to kind of break down what you're feeling in, you know, during this time, what you're wanting. Definitely a time to kind of assess, okay, where is my life going? What am I interested in during this time? What do I want for myself? Mm, I'll take them. 
I've been guided to take all the cards that jump out lately, even if it's more than I usually take. And this isn't that many. I think this is, okay, this is, this is seven cards. <laughs> that's actually quite a lot of cards, but that's okay. So we have the Three of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Moon. Yeah, there's definitely this need to first of all surrender to your journey to address the heartbreak or what you're unsatisfied with at this time, Taurus, because I feel you guys are confused and I feel like you guys are resisting the change that's trying to naturally occur in your life right now just because you're confused as to what's coming. So it's like you're really kind of on the defense instead of actively being someone who pursues certain things, which is why it's so important to be a co-creator with the universe and to create the change that you want. Um, it's very important to be in that position because otherwise you guys um you know you have some past heartbreak that hasn't been worked through to be completely honest or some things from the past are coming up or that you're just feeling low you're feeling down you may be experiencing you know some lower vibrational thoughts and feelings um, but honestly it's just because um you know you're confused as to where exactly your life is going because i think you guys really need to do this check-in so there there needs to be a check-in a check-in is basically when you you know check in with yourself okay first of all how I, how am i feeling it's a whole process how am i feeling okay why am i feeling this good and bad things you know i see some things naturally moving and shaking and happening in your life but i see you resisting them unnecessarily because you're kind of in a fog you're a bit confused right now, Taurus, and it's really just because you don't know really what's happening. You're kind of just allowing life to happen to you at this point. I see you have some options that are coming up, and this is actually pretty exciting, but there is a need to, you know, take inventory and be aware of these options. Because when these things start to happen or when these things start to come towards you, again, you may run away from them and it may be a good thing for you, you know, something like that. We have the Seven of Cups here. It can indicate matters of the heart, but really the Seven of Cups isn't just about love and romance, even though it's the suit of cups, because each cup has something different. You can, you know, it could be a tornado. It can be some excitement. It could be some coin, which I know my Taurians love. Um, it can be, you know, self-love. It can be new knowledge and information. There's so many things that are happening. You're really in the thick of the journey right now but you guys may just feel lost in the sauce you may feel like it's a tornado happening because it's like what what is going on here like you guys you know can't you don't know what's coming towards you you don't know if it's good or bad when things happen you guys just kind of clam up because you've been through so much that it's like I'm just trying to gain a sense of normalcy but the universe is saying nope be comfortable with the journey this is not the time to stop sometimes you know there is sometimes it is time for a pause sometimes it literally is just um a uh you know kind of like a moment there are moments to just be still but this isn't your time Taurus this isn't your time to be still this is the time to collaborate with other people this is also the time to complete any karmic cycles that haven't been completed and with the tower card in reverse it's definitely the time to stop resisting endings stop uh resisting opportunity for new gr new growth and rebirth because that's what the tower card is a lot of people don't like the tower card because they're like I don't want everything as I know it to come crashing down or I don't want things to change, but you got to be open to change. The world around you is constantly changing, so you got to be open to it. That's just kind of like the way it is here. Nothing remains the same. It just doesn't. Things change every day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we have make the effort. Mm, fine. I'm like, why so many though? There's a lot going on with you, Taurus, though, so... We have Make the Effort, Healing Family Issues and Children. And then we have Retreat and Chemistry. Yeah. Okay, so Make the Effort. Let's just start here. At the bottom of this one, it says, Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So Taurus, if you feel like you want new love to enter your life or you want things to progress, this is, the definitely, this is definitely the time for action or this is the time to allow things to happen. Like I was saying before, you, you're kind of being faced with what you want to focus on. It's really important right now for you, uh, Taurus, to decide what it is that you're wanting what it is that you want from your life, what it is that you want to do. Do you want to go towards new work? Um, or I'm sorry, new love. Do you want to focus on your work, you know, relationships, discovery, traveling, spirituality? What is it that you want to focus on right now? It's time to make a decision and then make the effort towards that. Um, and then also, you know, enjoy the journey as things naturally unfold as well. 
healing family issues, yeah, there's definitely a need to allow some, you know, lessons to truly be learned. Um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents is what it says at the bottom of this card. Maybe your parents didn't love you the way that you feel that they should have, or maybe they honestly gave you a really, really crappy start in life. Maybe they were children themselves, which we're about to get into next. And when they had you and it was just really kind of an unfair circumstance, the universe is saying, okay, that did happen, but it's time to address that past pain, that past hurt, that disadvantage so that we can move on from it. Once we acknowledge it, we can, we can really, you know, make, make steps towards the future. And then we have children at the bottom of this card. It says your love life, um, is being affected by children. So maybe you guys are, you know, making that transfer from child to adult or maybe your children kind of hold you back if you have children you know it's kind of hard to travel and make plans and do things like that I definitely understand I do know children are definitely a big commitment and they can take a lot of time energy money all that kind of stuff but you know it, it's it's definitely time for something that you truly truly want I don't know travel just keeps coming up for whatever reason like out of all of those th things like spirituality even love like travel seems to be like the focus of what Taurus wants right now travel or money um, but it's definitely time to start to make provisions for yourself outside of the circumstances that you're in so it's time to get a new goal to focus on maybe the goal is getting a certain amount of money so that you can pay for for, you know a child care um, service for a week so you can go on vacation or you know maybe it's just the mind state of you know child to adult that you're transferring into and that's why the universe is like be open to this journey this is a part of the journey this is your first kind of real ascension there's a lot of heartbreak associated with it that you're gonna have to get over but you know with the tower card in reverse you don't want to stop this process from happening because you're just slowing yourself down at this point. But there's also a need to make a decision. There's so much going on for Taurus right now. There is so much going on for you. And this is what you're walking into. We have chemistry and retreat. It's going to take retreat to get there. Literally just because of what we were talking about, you know, discovering your zeal, what it is that makes you excited and happy. Um, at the bottom of the retreat card, it says it's time to disconnect from the world. It's time to disconnect from the world, Taurus, and it's not for the purpose of just being alone and being in solitude. It's literally just so you can hear your own thoughts so that you can make a decision and a plan towards the future. That's why. It's for your own growth, so it's a really good energy. And then we have chemistry. Uh, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. This is what I was saying. This is what you're walking towards. So even if you're already in a relationship, your relationship will benefit as you better start to understand yourself. So let's keep going. What's going on with Taurus? Okay, one of them flipped around. Let's see if I can find it. Here we are. Here she is. Another one flipped around. Where is it? That one. All right. <laughs> now we got like five. Okay, so we have a no, take action, opportunity if you believe and the situation will improve beautiful 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 so it's just a matter of some of you getting in a mind state where you feel like things are in the realm of possibility for you honestly this no exclamation point feels like the universe like kind of slapping your hand like stop it no you can have exactly what it is that you want stop thinking that way it doesn't feel like because there's definitely you know this element of surrender it doesn't feel like the universe is telling you no you can't have this thing that you so desire this thing that you've been begging and pleading for this is really telling me it's like no stop thinking negatively about your situation or no stop on this path that you're on because you know you're on a, a road of you know that's leading you to some opportunity and abundance um definitely take action aka make a decision as far as what you want to focus on you guys Taurus it's no you know coincidence that the rediscover your zeal had so many options because it also has this element of being like there's also this element for you Taurus where you're over consumed with all of the things that you're focusing on like there's a lot happening for you babe so there's definitely an element of needing to kind of 
focus on just one thing so you can really build that up and other areas of your life will literally start to benefit. The situation will improve. So that's confirmation that things are going to get better for you. The situation is naturally improving and that's why it's important to enjoy the journey. But to really have that abundance, to really have that like push into the unknown, the, the new, your, the opportunity, you're, you're definitely needing to take action definitely needed to take action but we have opportunity so you guys i think you're getting like an extra kind of oomph here opportunity that energy specifically is like you're you're getting an opportunity to do something really great here so it could be in any area for me it feels like for some of you you've been working on getting like social media famous that specifically came through for for you um that is not everyone's message if you've not specifically been working on that that isn't your message but for those of you who've been really really trying at it really doing your best you're going to get an opportunity soon whether it's an opportunity to collaborate with a company or an opportunity to get your first sponsorship so that's specifically coming through but only take it as it resonates you don't have to force anything to be your message if you have not been specifically working on it and you're like my social media is raggedy af what are you talking about that's not your message <laughs> um that just specifically came through for like one two or three of you a few of you <clears throat> all right so we have why mending beautiful i'm so happy for you taurus i really am because that mending is letting me know you're fixing a relationship with someone that's really been plaguing you or you're mending the older version of yourself um you know with the new version of yourself like there's definitely this element of coming back together or replacing what was lost okay so we have a why in mending Absolutely. And this mending is happening through this self-reflection, you guys deciding what you want. Once you decide what you want, then you can make a plan as to how you're going to get it, what you're going to do to walk towards it, Taurus. So your life is going to start to benefit. You're going to start to mend these bridges, you know, bridge these gaps once you decide what's important to you and what you want to focus on. All right. Then we have Treasure Island, beautiful new life and clean it up. So you guys know the deal by now. You're going to have to clean it up. It definitely is going to take some action on your part, Taurus, but these are huge rewards. Treasure Island is nothing to sneeze at. New life is nothing to sneeze at. This is like your life seriously going in a whole new direction, a very positive one, might I add. This is absolutely beautiful. It's going to take some effort on your part, though, to have this kind of snowball and trickle effect, you know? It's going to take you, um, you know, picking yourself up by your bootstraps, trying again, refocusing, making a new plan, and you're going to have this opportunity with Treasure Island, okay? Maybe it's some new booty. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe it's literally some new abundance, some coin, honey. That's what I was talking about before. Some of you, a couple of you are getting some really big sponsorship opportunities here. You do not want to miss out on that because you, you know, gave up and didn't, um, resisted, didn't surrender. All right, let's see what else to get. Taurus. I'll take them. They wanted to come out. Yep. And some of you guys are like, okay, but why? Did I even address the why card? I think I did. Some of you guys are really, you know, in that in that why energy where it's like, okay, but why did this happen? You know what? Honestly, love is the reason. Love is the reason. And I know that sounds crazy, but love is literally the reason because it taught you something. It helps you grow. It's for your benefit. It's for your growth. And then at the bottom, or I'm sorry, the next card we got is if they loved you once, they still do. So some of you guys are wondering, like, did they ever love me? Do they love me? If they loved you once, they still do. But babe, it's not, you know, it's it's like, for an example, someone may, you know, want to quit smoking, but whether or not they actually do is a whole nother thing. Some people can love the heck out of you, but they're incapable of showing it in the way that you need it to be shown. That does not mean that they don't love you, but that means that your love languages are either different or they do not have the capacity in themselves to show you in the way that you need. But if they they loved you once, they still do. Love is the reason this happened. It happened, you know, ultimately for your benefit, ultimately for your growth, okay? You needn't worry. And sometimes the good is hidden. 
Some of you guys are really struggling to find the silver lining. Some of you guys are really wanting to give up, Taurus. I can feel it. Don't you give up. You guys are one of the strongest signs. You really are. You are one of the strongest signs, Taurus. Do not give up at this time. Um, but you needn't worry. Don't worry. Just just take things as they come and, and start to make your own moves and your own progress. Sometimes the good is hidden. I know you can't see this opportunity now, but this opportunity is coming. This treasure island is coming. This freaking new life is coming. That is gorgeous, Taurus. Um, and sometimes, you know, the good is hidden. So you can't see it now, but you definitely will make the steps towards it, okay? You're only prolonging this process. This is waiting for you. This is waiting for you. Make the steps, Taurus. Woof, that was intense. That's a lot of energy. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your spread. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. I love you, Taurus. Be careful what you wish for, and I will see you in the next one.